Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Javen Postal, and today at the grill, we're doing a review of the Woodwind 24 pellet grill from Camp Chef. This grill is incredibly versatile, user friendly, and you're gonna make some great meals using this pellet grill. And so just like always, I'm gonna put all the show notes as well as everything that you need to know about this grill in the description box below. So make sure to click down there to see everything that you need from this review. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, let's get into the review. As I said, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I appreciate you being here. Uh, today at the grill, we're gonna be doing a review or an overview of the Camp Chef Woodwind 24 pellet grill. This is a grill that I've just added to my lineup over the past few months and I've been getting a lot of questions about this pellet grill from people who are seeing it more and more on my social media as well as on YouTube videos and so I wanted to just give you that overview to help you see a little bit more about this grill, some of the internal workings, the exterior, all the little components that make this such a great grill. And so first of all, you know that I love charcoal. I love cooking over open fire and so pellet grilling is newer to me. I've done it a lot at first friends homes uh, who have Traegers and uh, pit bosses and things like that. And I settled on the Camp Chef Woodwind 24 because of its versatility, because of its size, because of its quality, and just the way it cooks. The experience of cooking on a pellet grill needs to be great, just like cooking on any other device. And so when it comes to this one, I chose it partly because it's a little bit smaller, it's a, still a full size, and so it can feed a lot of people. You know, if you have a family of four, uh, this is gonna be the perfect size for you, uh, just because it doesn't take up a lot of space, but you can cook as much as you need for your family. And so when it comes to the Camp Chef Woodwind series, uh, there are a few different model sizes. There's from 20 inches to 24, 36. Again, this is the 24 option, and I chose this one because of the cooking space inside. And I'll show you just quickly what I'm talking about. You have these uh, upper grates and the lower grates. So it essentially just doubles the cooking capacity because of those top grates that go from edge to edge. And again, this is one of the things that I look for when choosing a grill, that it meets all of my needs as well as not being overly excessive uh, for those once a year type of cooks uh, that I may need it for. I'll find another solution uh, when I need to cook for, you know, like a full family reunion or something like that. So let's give a little walk around of the Woodwind 24. Just look at some of the cooking features as well as the specs uh, on this grill. And the first thing that I wanna point out to you right away is that it comes with a side uh, table. Uh, this sidekick is an addition that comes separate from the main cooking unit. And so this is a great option. Uh, I would highly, highly, highly recommend uh, if you are gonna go for uh, any one of the Camp Chef pellet grills that you get the sidekick attachment because it just adds to that versatility Right now I have on the cast iron flat top griddle uh, on that sidekick, but there's different options as well from a you know, barbecue box, a pizza oven, uh, or just taking it all off and just using the burner uh, for boiling water or whatever you need uh, just a single burner for. But as I said, the Woodwind 24 comes standard with that uh, simple side table, which does add to uh, the cooking experience, but nothing like the sidekick addition to the pellet grill. And so when we move over, uh, you'll notice that uh, it has a nice clean look to it. It's got a stainless steel door on it and when we open that up uh, it's got a nice big cooking chamber. This is 811 uh, square inches of cooking space that utilizes the bottom layer as well as that top rack. Uh, when you move over you have uh, the gadgets. This is our digital thermometer and our control center. And so when you power up the pellet grill it has a nice bright screen and this is very important you know when you're dealing with a lot of sun and cooking in bright conditions uh, the fact that this screen is is so bright makes for a really great uh, user experience. On the side you also have uh, four ports uh, to monitor uh, meat internal temperatures and they go straight through a little side port and so I'm going to come back to this control center because this is really the brains of this pellet grill and there's a lot of different capabilities that you can uh, function and leverage to help with your cooking experience. So as we work our way down you'll notice that there is a bottle opener and this is just one of those uh, simple additions uh, to the pellet grill that really just adds to that user experience. You know the fact that you're cooking uh, typically on a hot summer day it's nice to be able to just grab a beer crack it open using that bottle opener and just again enjoy your 
time cooking using the pellet grill. Uh, when you move up slightly, you'll notice that there is also a look through window so you can see uh, how many pellets are in your hopper. One thing you will notice though, is that uh, with pellet grills, uh, the pellets often will sink in the middle, giving you a false read on that pass through window. But end of the day, the more you use it, the more comfortable you get knowing how much pellets are in there based off of the window that you see. As we keep going around, you do have your hopper lid and this is an oversized lid. On the back side, you do have a nice sturdy handle, uh, which for me is very important actually, because I'm often moving uh, these grills around to different locations uh, in the studio. And so the fact that I have a nice sturdy handle doesn't feel wimpy at all. I can lift up the entire back end of that grill using that one handle is very convenient. It just helps me move it around, helps with the convenience of uh, using this pellet grill. And then again, that handle also doubles as a cord hanger. So when I'm done cooking and I'm putting it away, I can wrap that cable around that handle, just keeping it off the ground, keeping it out of the way and nice and clean, which is a really added bonus. You also notice that around the backside, you have your hopper clean out or purge area. And so if you're cooking with uh, maple wood on one cook and you want to switch to cherry, it's easy enough just to pull a little lever and then have all of those pellets come pouring out into a bucket. Uh, and then you switch your pellets and you can cook with whatever wood profile you're looking for. You'll also notice that the smokestack is on the back side, uh, which is a nice convenient area because if it was coming off the side, then you wouldn't be able to add on the sidekick and it would interfere with your side table. So the fact that they put it on the back side just makes it a little bit more convenient. This does add to the overall depth of the pellet grill. And so if space is an issue and you can't go too deep, and then you might want to look for a pellet grill uh, that uh, has a different placement for its smokestack. Uh, but end of the day, uh, where it is is a great position uh, for this cooker. Um, Underneath uh, your side table, you do have your grease trap, which is a nice convenient location for easy access. All right, so those are the main exterior features uh, that come standard on pretty much most uh, pellet grills, but there's a couple features that I just love that I wanna show you. And the one is down below underneath the pellet grill uh, where you have an ash cleanout system. And on the side here, uh, is this a little lever with a lock on it and you pull up the lock, you slide out uh, the bar and it empties out in into a canister, making for a real fast and simple clean out uh, for just your day to day uh, cooking. You still are going to have to clean the interior uh, from any ash that's blowing around and grease that's dripping down. But for the most part, uh, you can get away with a number of different cooks uh, just using that simple ash clean out system. The next thing that I enjoy more from a convenience uh, point of view is the oversized hopper. This is a 22 pound uh, hopper basket, which means you can take a full 20 pound bag of pellets and dump them right in there. You're not going to uh, need extra space. You're not going to hold uh, pellets that are unused or just don't fit in there uh, because you can fit a whole 20 pound bag of pellets into that hopper, which is really nice. And then the last exterior feature that I think is very handy, but also could use a little bit of improvement on is the sear and grill uh, bar that's on the side. And this is a, a bar that just pulls uh, left to right, giving you full access to that fire pot and higher heat capabilities, which comes in really handy when it comes time to searing, say a steak or finishing off a different meat. And so even though I said I really enjoy both the sear capabilities uh, as well as the ash clean out, these are both two items that I think there could be a little bit of improvement on when it comes time to cleaning out the ash bucket. I have noticed that uh, it's been a little bit sticky and I've had to really reef on it uh, just to open up that ash catch. But end of the day, after a few tugs, it's opened up, uh, saving me time from having to open it up, take things apart and pull a vacuum out just to get out uh, that extra ash that I don't want for that cook. Also, when using the sear and grill bar, pulling it out and giving you direct access to those flames. It does work, but it doesn't replace a dedicated uh, unit for searing, and it definitely doesn't uh, replace searing over direct hot charcoal. Uh, but when you have it enclosed in here, it just adds to that uh, usability and the experience when you do need to use it. Lastly, on the exterior, you do have uh, a nice utility rack on the bottom so you can store different things. You can store some of your racks down there as well as some large heavy duty wheels. So it really makes it easy to move around. All right, so let's open up the grill and take a look at the inside. And so right off the bat, you'll notice that there are two different cooking levels. And for me, this is one of the reasons why I chose uh, this grill. Again, the size fit my needs, as well as if I needed that extra cooking capacity, I had the top rack as well as the bottom rack. And so just looking at it, you know, you could probably do about six racks of ribs. You could likely squeeze in four briskets uh, if you needed to. You, you can cook a lot of food using this 24 inch version 
and uh, typically when I'm cooking I'd like to take my top rack and slide it down below or even take these top racks out completely put them down below in that utility rack and just giving me full access to the entire grill but when you do need that extra cooking space it's really nice to put those racks in and have the full cooking capacity from the back end to the front and be able to use it just like the bottom rack. When you take out your bottom cooking grates, you'll notice that there is a nice large heat deflector which helps give you nice even heat throughout the cooking chamber. That diffusion plate is on a little bit of a decline as well, which is nice because as the fats uh, fall down off your meat and hit that plate, it will roll down and then out of your grill and into your grease trap. And then lastly, you have your auger, which leads to your firebox, and this is where your heat comes from. And so what's gonna happen is your pellets are gonna go from the hopper through the auger, and then catch fire in your fire pot, and this is what heats up your grill. All right, so let's move back to our control board. Uh, and this again is what controls your temperature, your smoke. And this is all done uh, right here on the unit itself, but also can be done through a mobile app. And this app is very intuitive. You know, when I set it up for the first time, it only took a few minutes. It was very user friendly and just really adds to the cooking experience when you are using uh, the Woodwind 24. It also has a nice, easy to use uh, wheel that just allows you to select your different options. Uh, from cooking temperature uh, to smoke setting. It has a smoke setting from one to 10. And so this just allows you to add as much or as little smoke as you need for whatever you're cooking. So if you're baking and you want less smoke, you can put it down to one. If you're doing ribs or pulled pork or something like that, where you want that uh, nice smoky flavor, you can put it all the way up to 10 or anywhere in between. And it just gives you a little bit more of a smoky flavor uh, that comes from a classic pellet grill. And so everything that can be done directly on the grill can be done on your uh, smartphone using the app and it's very intuitive and doesn't take any time to learn at all. And so as I said, this pellet grill is very versatile in how you can cook with it and the space, the quality is great. Uh, there are a few things that I would change personally uh, just to improve it a little bit. Uh, like I said, the searing grill uh, bar that allows you to have direct grilling, you know, I would love to see uh, that be a little bit more powerful as well as uh, the stickiness of the ash box. Uh, again, it's not the end of the world uh, and you can still save a lot of time. It's way more convenient than having to uh, go in and take the grill apart and vacuum it out. And so I'd rather have it be a little bit sticky and then have to go through that big process. And the last thing that I noticed uh, from cooking with this one versus some of the other pellet grills I've cooked on is how loud uh, the fan is. You know, for most people, this isn't going to be an issue at all. Uh, for me, when I'm filming, you sometimes get a little bit of interference with your microphones uh, if you're living in a townhouse like where I am um, you know it's gonna be a little bit noisier than cooking over uh, charcoal with a say like a Weber kettle uh, or some other cooking device where it's absolutely silent cooking and so if you're just getting into pellet grills just be mindful of that fan no matter what kind of pellet grill you have you're gonna have that fan you're gonna have that little bit of extra noise but when you compare it to some of the other pellet grills that I've cooked on uh, this one seems to be just a little bit more noisy but again end of the day it's not not a big issue. Uh, it's not a big concern that I had. I knew uh, that this was a little bit noisier of a fan before it even showed up and it didn't sway me at all. And so end of the day, this is a great pellet grill. Um, as I said, I did a lot of research into different types of pellet grills that would fit my needs. And I came back to this one every single time from its size to the quality, to the different features that it has on there, just how everything works together, especially when you utilize the sidekick. And, you know, I've done uh, pork loin, chicken, and wings, a whole bunch of different cooks on this. I've made entire meals for my family utilizing the, the smoker as well as the side plate. It's been a great asset so far and I can't wait to do more cooks on it and just to show you a little bit more as I cook, as I film using it uh, because this is one of those pellet grills I think you should check out. So I hope this review of the Camp Chef Woodwind 24 pellet grill was helpful. Uh, end of the day, it's packed full of different features as well as really easy to use uh, and you're able to make incredible barbecue every single time. And so if you want to see more barbecue videos uh, just like this one as well as reviews like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. Uh, also, special thank you to all my patrons out there who help support this channel every single week. Until next time, keep that fire lit and get cooking.